Hello everyone, it's Angela from Happy Dotting Company. Well, I'm super excited to introduce a new product to you. This is actually a, um, a little dome template that is for our Mold 3. So this is the Mold 3 and it's actually the smallest one we have. Um, it's just, oh, sorry, I've forgotten the exact measurement, but I think it's about two and a half inches across, but I'll check that later. Um, so basically, um, we haven't had a specific dome template for this one until just now. And as you can see, that's a perfect fit there. Um, you just place the center over the um, center dot to align it. And um, with this one, I've actually made the, um, you know, the slot slightly wider. And that's um, just due to some feedback um, with the other dome templates that that would make it a bit easier. Um, but yeah, like I'm really happy with that. So this is now available. You can either buy it by itself because a lot of people already have the Mold 3 already. Um, or you can um, get it actually, you know, with the Mold 3. Um, sort of like as a... Uh, a listing that's put together and then the um, the item is slightly discounted compared to buying it separately. Um, so you'll see the link uh, in the description box below, but today I'm just going to be uh, videoing this, um, how to use it exactly, and I just thought I might include a couple of tips as well. So um, this is obviously the casting from Mold 3. This is what it looks like. Um, and generally what happens is that when you release it from the casting, it will have sort of like either some bubbles or maybe a little edge there. And generally what I do is just give it a light sand. This is just a, a flexible, um, you know, sanding block. Um, and I just give it a light sand. And this one actually had a few bubble marks on it. So what I did is I actually filled it with this um, spack filler here. Just let it dry a little while and then just give it a sand. Um, and you know, this one is, this particular art stone is actually made out of dental stone powder. Now dental stone powder is probably one of the lighter ones, but it's also widely available. Um, you can buy it in big, um, you know, 20 kilo packets and it's quite um, reasonable to buy and very economical for that reason. So, um, I still use the Ultra Cal 30. I still love using the Ultra Cal 30. However, this particular product, Dental Stone Powder, is probably just more accessible for people all over the world because, you know, some pe some people have found it hard to get the um, Ultra Cal 30. It can have a bit of a, oh, what do you call it, sort of like a, a chalky feel even after it's dry. And I just wanted to mention that what you can do is give it um, a spray. Um, oh, that's what I was going to mention too, is that look, after you take these out of the mold, please let them dry properly. And by that, for me, I let them dry for about a week. I mean, an absolute minimum of a few days. However, I let them dry for about a week. Um, it does depend on your climate. If you want to speed that process up, I have heard of people actually putting them in an oven, not too hot, but just on a light heat on fan forced oven to dry up, to dry out, um, dry them more quickly. And um, apparently, you know, it does work really well. Um, however, I naturally let mine dry for about a week before I paint them. But anyway, getting back to what I was gonna mention, just so you don't have a chalky sort of surface to paint on, I actually often spray them with a matte spray. So this is just a clear um, sort of a, a sealer. And this is, a, in Australia, this is available just from Bunnings. It's quite cheap and it goes a long, long way. So I give it a quick burst on the front, let that dry, it only takes about 10 minutes, quick burst on the back. And then, you know, it really doesn't have any of that sort of, you know, that sort of um, powdery feel if you touch it and rub it. Um, so that's um, a little tip for you there. But anyway, I'm going to give this some paint um, now as a base coat. Um, I like using just in a black a black acrylic paint, and this is one, the Joe Songe's one that I commonly use. Or the other option is actually to use like a black chalk paint as well. Um, a lot of people use that. And you can, in fact, put um, the sealer over your base coat as well. And in fact, that will help with, um, you know, being able to lift off your chalk 
um, guideline marks. So, um, you know, that, that can also be used sort of both under the base coat and over the base coat, if that makes sense. But anyway, I'm going to give this some um, paint now. In South Australia I was born Either way, all the way In South Australia round Cape Horn We're bound for South Australia All the way you're rolling king Either way, all the way All the way you'll hear me sing We're bound for South Australia I walked out one morning fair Heave away, haul away it was there I met Miss Nancy Blair We're bound for South Australia There's just one thing that's on my mind Heave away so I've given this stone um, a coat of paint on both sides and I've also used a bit of that um, matte sealant on the um, on the stone, giving it a spray both sides and that just um, helps put a coat between, you know, the pencil um, and the paint so that it just makes it super easy to um, get the chalk lines off after um, we've finished our dotting. So this is the little dome template that's from Mold 3 and all I'm doing is placing it exactly over that little dot in the centre, popping it on there and drawing the lines through. So really easy. It's essentially just like any other sort of stencil the way you do this. So here we have all our guidelines. There we go. Sorry about that light shining there. It can just make it a little bit tricky to see. Um, anyway, I was going to say um, the next thing I like to do is actually join these together. And I just sketch them in like that so that I have a cross. And then another tip is that you know once you, once you start dotting, if you once you make your center dot, if you don't get it exactly in the center, it can be very frustrating, and it's um, much much um, more possible to go up in size than obviously it is to go down in size. I mean, you can always rub it out and start again, but just a little tip for you is that if you start with a smaller dot. And then make sure you're in the center. And then you can put a bigger dot on top. So I'm actually pretty happy with that. Looks like it's in the center. So now I'm actually going to do my bigger dot on top with a larger tool. And there's the first dot. So today I'm actually going to be doing a um, pattern um, which is one of Zara's patterns from Z Dot Designs on Etsy and I'll put her link below in the description box. Um, she has a huge range of patterns on stones and canvas and all sorts of things. Um, they often come with a lot of tips and tricks as well. So um, anyway, I'll going to put on some nice music now and do this pattern and I hope you enjoy it. You will get a um, see the discount coupon that's in the description box below if you're interested in um, our little dome template or any of our products it can actually be applied to. So um, thanks for watching.
been burned too many times And at the end of a spark You turn yourself away from the light Don't be afraid Darkest of days are just before the dawn Cause you have my, you have my heart And always will so take my hand Let go of the past And hold on to first told me your name I didn't hear a word you said Bet it was written all over my face Should have known it was you I would love until the end Stole my breath Bet you could see it in my smile Should have known it was you I would love until the end I don't know Where this road leads All I know Is I want to go with you In a life where there's No sure I'm sure I want to live it with you If you look into my eyes When our time down here is spent in every single line 
Hope you know it was you that I loved until the end.